I'm going to show you how to uh, utilize some leap motion inside Unreal Engine 4. I'll go through basics of how to get uh, events and uh, handle them, and I'll, I'll show you how to put textures uh, with the path through the camera on the front of the leap motion, so you can do a little magic there. So I'm going to do it all in blueprints today. I can show you C++ eventually if you'd like, but for now we'll just stick with blueprint blueprints. So just to get basic leap motion functionality, you can start up a new project blank tutorial and create project. Now this is actually fairly easy to do in blueprints. Uh, so what you need to do, uh, first step is go edit and into plugins, input devices, and enable leap motion. It will prompt you at the bottom to restart your editor. Hit the restart button. Now I'm working with a DK2 with a leap motion sticky tacky to the front of it. Uh, I didn't really feel like buying the mount. So yeah, uh, there we go. So now uh, we can get started. So first thing you want to do is in your view options, you can hit uh, show plugin content here. And what that'll do, it'll give you access to some leap motion assets, or you can see them. So for our first step is going to be to create a new blueprint and make a game mode. And this is just random game mode. You don't actually need, the only reason we do this is to go into edit and project settings, into maps and modes, that you can select your d different pawns. So with when you have the leap motion, uh, when you're working with leap motion, you can, to get started, you can use these leap basic rig characters and stuff like that. Now floating hands is what it is. Path through is, um, it's, it, it, it will uh, replace the scene with the camera. I don't, it's useful, but I don't really like it. Uh, and then basic rig character. So we're going to be working with the f uh, floating hands character to start with. And there we go. And now just by doing that, we should be able to VR. All right, so I just need to hit that A button. There we go. So now our hands are now in VR. You can see that like that. Okay, and you can do all sorts of things. Now to make this easier on ourselves so we can start changing it without destroying some stuff, you can go into your Leap Motion content folder here into Blueprints and Rigging. And you can actually just copy paste your Floating Hands character here. Uh, you can actually just drag that copy here. We're just going to call that uh, BP New Leap Motion Character. And then we can open that up. Now, in here, you'll see a few things that are uh, that are pre built for you to handle hands and stuff like that. So you can change tint. And I don't have, you can set these up separately, but I haven't. Actually, let's do that now. So we'll input action, change hands. So we'll go into edit, project settings, and then you can go into input, action, and then just change hands. And we'll assign that to H. H, 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 H. There we go. Now when we compile this, this is now inside. So when we play around with it, we have hands, hit H. Oh, now we have different hands. This is the hand scrape from the motion camera. This is actually really cool. Ooh, that's useful. Okay. And then, yeah, we can go back. Do we got wireframe hands? Yeah. That's how, that's how you do that. Now, there's a few other things you can do. The tint toggle will make another input inside our project settings input and then we'll just add one and change image and tint and then we will 
assign that to J. And once we compile that again, we'll be good. So, it's going to be white hands. Still white hands, but if we change hands, see, now we've got different tints. This doesn't change color. So that's only for this here. All right. So what else do we have here that we can uh, that we can play with? Oh, one more, and this is to recenter the HMD, which is very useful. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll uh, we might as well rig that up too right now, just so you can have a full project. So one more input reset HMD orientation. And we will assign that to our Okay, so I figured out where the problem was. So uh, starting back at your basic leap motion character, like we had before, what you're going to want to do is add leap controller. And then in your variables, you want to add another variable. Change its type to leap controller up in the top right corner and then change its name to the controller. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold alt and drag that out to set it. And then we are going to optimize for HMD so it takes right orientation for my head mounted display and then we want to get this and this is just for later. What we're going to do is we're going to go enable image support. There we go. So now, in theory, well, and I, I figured out what the problem was because I'm an idiot. Uh, so we're going to do hand pinched again. Oh, wait. Again, I reset a bunch of things, so. Here you want to add also add a leap event interface. There you go. And now we should be able to compile and hand pinched. Pinching. There we go. And we're just going to print. Pinching. Okay. So then we want to minimize that and we want to go to edit project settings, maps and modes, and change this to, actually, um, I remade the whole thing in the last thing, so we're just, I'm going to just call this custom, but uh, make sure to just pick the, wh whatever, what you call, whatever you called it. So mine's called custom. There we go. And now we should have and pinching comes up. Now there's a lot of things you can do. There's a lot of events you could listen to. This, and this is the other thing. There we go. That's the right one. A lot of things, a lot of events you can handle. I'm not going to go through exactly on how to, what to do on each one. But if you right click and type leap event you can see all the leap events you can handle. Uh, for gestures, as I showed off earlier, you want to just do inside your begin play, you want to do enable gesture for as many gestures as you need, like here. So if we, we do that and we do a swipe, we'll then swipe, gesture detected, and we're just going to print See, and you can see it com coming up every once in a while, a swiping gesture. See. Yeah, so you can detect swipes like that. Uh, one last thing I'm going to show you is how to how to create like a a billboard. 
that can handle, that can show you what's going on in the real world. So just real quick, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add a billboard here. And we're just going to put it right in front of the character. And it's just going to float there. Uh, I found, and what I'm actually going to do here, because it looks cooler this way, is to make two billboards the same. And we're just going to do left path through and right pass through. All right, so what we're going to do here, um, you see there's an enable image support here. You want to make sure that's there. And I also believe that you want to uh, leap image link interface. I don't know if this is required, um, but I, I use it. Uh, so now you have an event, event in raw image received. So what you can do here, this is this is exactly like it is on the tutorial, on the main GetNamo GitHub page. So you go here and you want to do switch int here and ID. The ID is going to either be zero or one, zero for left, and we're going to set sprite. Right. And do that. And then basically the same thing. Set sprite and right path through. And put that there. Now when we play, you should see uh, in front of it. No, because billboards are fun that way. Uh, you want to go into your main viewport and change these in the detail. You want to tick off hidden in game. And then you should see something in front of you now. Uh, no. That's weird. Okay, so we did do it right. So if you find yourself, this is a bug that, uh, that is currently in the game. Oh. Uh, yeah, see. See here, it's giving you one frame, just the first frame that loads up. So if you're getting that issue, what you want to do is inside your leap content folder, blueprints, leap connectors, you want to go to your leap and embody connector. And what you want to do is actually grab the leap controller there and enable image support from there right in your construction script which you can get to by double clicking here so when you compile that uh, that's going to give you a full image so that's pretty much everything I have to show you. What I can show you though is, uh, no, I know, I, I, that's out of the scope of this tutorial. What I will show you is just basically uh, a quick, close this, don't save, a, just a quick look at some of the things you can do with what I showed you so far. Um, I have more intricate projects already, but I think it is in here. I think it's in here. So we'll turn this into VR mode and this should be Yeah, so I've got a couple of glitches here, but see, so you've got my hands, and it detects pinching and insert. Uh, there's also the tapping implemented, but what I like about this right now is if I look down, oh, some of my content folder seems to be screwed. Again, if that happens to you, uh, you want to just go into your leap motion content blueprints, leap connectors, and a body connector in your construction script.
Take your leap controller. Enable image support. And compile that. And that should fix the problem. There we go. Yeah, so that's that fixed the problem. So see we have our hands here. If we look down, you can actually see our keyboard a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna make that better somehow. Let's see. The the whole invisible hand thing has been making me angry the last couple of days. And this is let's see. And it makes a hand disappear. Yeah, and then pinchy pinchy pinchy. Yeah, so that's the basics of how you play around with leap motion inside um, inside Unreal Engine. I think it would be more natural to control a third-person VR game right now because motion controls aren't really there yet. Uh, yeah. Like, there's no motion control, so the first person, you're using a controller anyway. So I, 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 I get that you'll be able to look at the world and see. Like, I can imagine you can put Easter eggs in hidden places that you need to be, like looking around and stuff like that and it looks decent enough but it just looks like again nothing it looks like a bunch of other you know action rpgs that have been released over and over again but this time you get a full yeah. world view